Bobby, a Tampa woman who flew to Puerto Rico today is keeping us updated as Dorian gets closer. Jeannie went back to the island to go to her mother's funeral, but now she's not sure if it's going to even happen. She tells Nightside's Liz Birch there's this uncomfortable edge in Puerto Rico that wasn't there before Hurricane Maria. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I, I can't I can't deny it. I'm a little nervous. Jeannie Calderin says the mood in Puerto Rico is so different. Before Maria, people bought alcohol and games and settled in to wait out the storm, but not now. People are nervous. Uh, people are very short tempered. Um, people are just, you know, praying for the best. She says Maria changed everything for the island. Some people never got their power restored and they still have tarps on their roofs. It's I think they're taking a little bit more serious okay. than before. With the track heading in their direction now, the island is in what she calls organized chaos. A lot of people in the streets. There's a lot of people in the gas stations. Back in Florida, Antonio Paris is also closely watching those models. He grew up on the island and his mom still lives there. Two, three hurricanes have gone through in the last 10 years and that infrastructure has basically collapsed. And uh, one more storm, one more big storm uh, would possibly put Puerto Rico back decades. After Maria, he made several trips to deliver food, medical aid, flashlights, and emergency radios. He's prepared to do it again. If there's a some type of catastrophic uh, aftermath, yes, I would probably go back. But he hopes he doesn't have to. There is clearly some PTSD associated with Maria on the island, and it's certainly understandable. And as Dorian approaches, President Donald Trump tweeted this. Congress approved $92 billion for Puerto Rico last year, an all-time record of its kind for anywhere. But some people online that, that thought that number was a little too high. So we're verifying the president's tweets to make sure that we get the most accurate figure. We looked at data from FEMA and reporting from CBS News, and here's what we found. Since Hurricane Maria, Congress has allocated almost $43 billion to Puerto Rico and paid out close to $14 billion. To put that all in perspective, Hurricane Maria caused $90 billion worth of damage. So where did President Trump get that $92 billion from? Well, that's how much money Puerto Rico could receive over the next two decades. But the island has not gotten all of those funds to date. Back home, well, we don't know what to expect yet with Dorian, but our hurricane preparedness playlist on the 10 News YouTube page, well, that can help you plan and pack for Dorian or any other storm we may encounter this hurricane season. Even if this is a fire drill, this will help you get ready for a storm down the road. It's all there for you, youtube.com slash 10 News WTSP.